Hey again, everyone. Chris Winstrom here at Marine Max Coco. Thank you for joining us as we walk through this brand new Sea Ray that we just had arrive. This is the 190 SPX in the outboard version. This is done in the full black hull color, so a beautiful boat up against the water. You can also opt to have a half hull color, but as you can see, beautiful lines up against this boat, especially wrapped in full black like this. On its trailer, this does have a breakaway tongue, so it's nice to uh, be able to fit in a garage or if you have a tight spot that you have to store this boat, this whole tongue does break away so you can collapse it in a little bit closer. And a great feature on the new 2022 model is I have a separated anchor locker here in the bow. So a stand, stainless steel latch opens up your anchor locker there and there is a stainless steel cleat inside to be able to tie off to. So a nice improvement here in the new 2022 model. And then your fixed navigation lights, so we don't have to worry about plugging something in. Those are mounted right there at the bow. And then with the stainless steel upgrade, you do have a stainless steel insert here in the rub rail, which hides a lot of the chatter when we're maybe bumping up against some docks. So a nice feature there as well. As we work down the side of the boat, as you can see, very characteristic lines to our SPXs. These are absolutely beautiful boats, a head turning boat that uh, you definitely do recognize as you see it going down the water. And a quick thing to point out uh, with Sea Ray, they really do overbuild these boats. All of your hardware is stainless steel. Even your fittings and your bimini top are all stainless. You don't have to worry about any stress fractures or any, uh, any salt eating away at some of your plastic that might crack down the road. So nice stainless all the way around the boat. And this is a dual axle trailer. So you've got uh, plenty of safety and there are both disc brakes on both axles there. And as we work our way towards the aft end, you see that this is a non-skid sea deck material. So nice to be able to hop on to keep your feet cool, or if you have gear or toys in the water, you don't have to worry about them slipping here on the swim platform. So a nice upgrade to be able to have, if you have kids jumping off the side of the boat, that there's a little extra traction there uh, for your feet, which is nice. This is powered with the maximum horsepower for the 190 SPX. This is Mercury's 150 four-stroke outboard. So a great power package to be able to get up on plane quick if we do have a boat full of people. And working our way around the side here, I do have a recessed reboarding ladder. It is a four-step telescoping ladder. Again, all stainless steel hardware on this. A very sturdy ladder when we are reboarding. And when it stows away, it's flush with our swim platform so we don't have our feet catching on uh, this when we're boarding. I do have a 12 volt receptacle here if I do have any plugins for say an air compressor to be able to blow up some water toys and a really nice uh, stainless steel grab handle here for reboarding. And then here is my ski tow pylon, which is integrated there into the aft end of the deck. So a great place to be able to tow from if we're doing any kind of water sports there on the back. As we start making our way inside, I just wanted to note there's an additional compartment here where I have my onboard cooler that is removable. This is also where my batteries are located as well as my battery selector switch so I can toggle back and forth between the two. I have a really spacious sun pad here on the back to lounge on and relax. Um, and it's actually low enough to where I can have my feet still on the swim platform. So a great place to watch the kids jump off of the back of the boat. And then being that this is the outboard version, underneath this sun pad, I've got a pull tab that'll open up this entire compartment on these gas assisted struts. That actually is a big deep compartment here to be able to store all of my beach gear for the day, tuck it away so it's not laying in the floor for anybody to trip on. A nice high backrest here on my rear lounger. So it hits me nice and high in the back. So a very safe feel here inside the cockpit. And as you can see, I've got a step down in. So everybody feels nice and secure and nice and contained as uh, we're underway. This is the option for the dual captain's chair. And these do have a flip up bolster that lock in place real nice. And this is the stone interior color and the upgraded upholstery that gives me my cross stitching here that is uh, the contrast color. Wraparound bolsters all the way around. I have a speaker, stainless steel grab rails, cup holders, and this boat was optioned with the blue LED light upgrade. So all of my cup holders and underneath some of my bolsters, I do have a blue LED light for, uh, for those evening cruises to give me a little bit of mood lighting. And then here on the port side, I do have a lockable sink additional cup holder, and then storage here that is all carpeted, so a great place to tuck away some other belongings. Dual captain chair setup, I do have a very deep in-floor storage compartment. 
So a place where I wanted to throw some fishing rods or maybe like a wakeboard or some skis. And then again, stainless steel hardware all the way around to keep things locked in place nicely. And then if you notice, there are some snaps on the floor. And that is the option for this infinity vinyl woven flooring. So it actually matches my gray interior very nicely and it has a nice padded backing. So it actually lets uh, my feet breathe a little bit when we're out there for a long day on the water. Working here into the helm, we'll look at some of the electronics we have. We do have gauges opposing with a five inch Simrad, uh, it's called the Go 5 screen. So this gives me all of my GPS heading coordinates that I need, a nice color LCD screen, Fusion Stereo, which is Bluetooth. I have my anchor and navigation light switches as well as my courtesy lights. That's for your blue LEDs under here. And I have an automatic bilge pump, but I also have a manual override switch as well. Steering wheel is on a tilt base and this seat is actually on a slider so I can adjust to uh, be as comfortable as I'd like in the boat. And then again, a flip up bolster if I wanted to see here above the windshield. I have additional USB plugs here if I wanted to charge my phone and an additional 12 volt receptacle there. Working our way up here into the bow, the windshield actually closes on a stainless steel grab so it's not a strap or a buckle that I have to worry about. It's a nice sturdy piece of equipment and these both lock in place if I wanted to shield the wind off of uh, our guests. And then up into the bow, you can see wraparound bolsters on both sides. All three cushions are removable and I have storage on opposing sides here in the bow and then easy access up to my anchor if I needed to pitch the anchor off the front of the boat. So, oh, two additional cup holders here in the front so everybody's got a nice easy place to keep your drink. And these are up underneath your seat so the wind isn't hitting them and potentially blowing out of the boat. So come on by and take a look at this Sea Ray 190 SPX. Again, this is Chris coming at you from Remax and Coco. Thanks for watching.